What's up, everybody? I'm Adam for the Animals, and I'm here with this sign at Trinity Bellwoods, and I'm wondering if people can change my mind about veganism. So let's find out. And do you think animal cruelty is wrong? Do you think we should be treating animals with a, a degree of moral respect? Yes. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. Why animal cruelty is wrong, of course. Yeah. Why do you think that? Just because... because. Okay. Well, because. Yeah. At the same time, you're also a living being. Right. You shouldn't be treating other things in a in a in a way that is. Um, well, I, I guess the idea is that it's it's kind of based off of their own self knowledge. Might be filmed here. Yeah, okay. I'm no. Like, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah. So. No, I, I mean the taste thing. I mean none of us would eat it because we don't like the taste of steak. I, yeah, I, I, that's true. I ate meat for the vast majority of my life, you know, it's yeah. because of very different reasons that I gave up eating meat. It certainly wasn't because I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but what's your opinion on on dairy, on cheese and milk? Uh, and eggs, well, it's not necessary. Like dairy is necessary, right? Like Definitely we not. probably know, right? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, if you get it from a cow. Yeah. Why, I mean, why do we need yeah. cow's milk? That's for that's, baby cows. <laughs> I mean, to me, when I first heard that, it was so yeah. absurd. Yeah. So what's yeah. what stopping you from going vegan? Uh, I don't know, I still like eating eggs, pretty much, and I mean, it's occasional, right, occasionally cheese, but it's more for flavor than anything. So I think, basically what it comes down to is, do you think that, in this day and age, do you think that we need to be eating meat to survive? I don't think we need to eat meat to survive, mm -hmm. right, because whatever we end up, whatever we end up with on our palate, right, humans and any sort of living organism is meant to adapt, right, so I mean, yeah. of course you could realistic why I mean I don't know a lot of people may, might die I don't think so even really especially in this day and age but again people are diving a starvation all the time um, but I think of course we would adapt the human race wouldn't die out because of the meat is except the exempt from the diet yeah. however we are omnivores mm -hmm. naturally yeah, I agree and we you. have been right so the uh, clearly there is a, a an element of humans kind of overruling Totally, we, we totally have dominion over this planet, no question about that. We get to decide what to do with, with the animals around. We get to decide whether we want to plow the rainforests and all that stuff, right? Yeah. So my question is, is it right that we do so? Knowing that with 7 billion people on the planet, animal agriculture is the number one or number two cause of global warming because of methane emissions, because of deforestation, because of acidic oceans, because of uh, rainforest depletion, all these things. So the animal agricultural industry is abhorrent, terrible for the planet, right? I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a known fact at this point. Well, we know for certain that we already have all the plant food required to feed the earth like two times over. Because think about this. However, though, I mean, at the same time, the whole thing is about sustainability. The thing is about, I mean, now that science has progressed so far, we know about species is getting getting overgrown, right? And we're even worried about human humans being okay, overpopulated. overpopulated. Yeah. Right. So we're worried about all sorts of people, all sorts of animals. Yeah. Going too much, too much, too much. That's how we regulate fishing. That's how we regulate hunting as well. Mm. Right. Well, one thing we're not overregulating is animal agriculture. You know how many animals we kill every single year for animal agriculture? Can I you bet, guess? I bet, fuck, uh, I, what, what kind of animals? Give me a, give we're, me talking, a, we're talking animals like pigs, cows, chickens, in lambs, Canada? ducks. No, in Canada? in Canada, but I'm talking about worldwide. worldwide? Yeah, take a guess. Worldwide? Yeah, it'll astound you. Shit. The number is between 56 and 70 billion okay. land animals, and there are at least 1.5 trillion fish. So we're talking like scale, like unimaginable scales. And you know why these animals exist in these quantities in the first place? Do you know why so many animals exist? Why is that? Because we breathe them into existence. We shove our arm into cows' anuses and we eject them with semen. Have you ever looked into like some of what goes on in the dairy industry? You know, I've, I've, uh, in the day, I haven't really, because for me, I don't drink it, so it's not really part of my life, but I know seeing and re reading some of the stories and, you know, you know how they make veal, and I mean, I'm talking broader here, right? Like, yeah. What they do to the chickens. Yeah, you, you know how the, the babies are separated from their mothers? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Being born? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and if it's a boy, it'll be slaughtered, and if it's a woman, or if it's a girl cow, it'll, it'll be able to kind of uh, have the same fate as its mother. That's right, yeah. Go back into the, into the, the grind of being milked all the time, being forcibly That's right. That's right. Shove their hand yeah, inside of her, I, I inject her with semen to impregnate her. I know, it, and then it, inject her with uh, hormones so she produces more milk, take her baby away. And yeah. she's slaughtered at the age of two or three years older when a, a cow in the wild can live up to 25 or 30 years. So we're, we're slaughtering yeah, children. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, we're forcibly no. impregnating and slaughtering I children. I mean, when, yeah, when you look at it, you're realizing that it, it's... The factory farm is just horrendous. It is. But do you know why cows produce milk in the first place? To feed the, the young? That's right. That's right, exactly. So what would happen if we allowed the mother to have her baby and to feed her baby? 
we wouldn't have any milk for ourselves, right? So do you know what we do on the first day of the, the, the calf's life? The first day of birth, yeah. a calf will be taken away from its mother, right? Yeah. And that has to happen because if the cow drinks from... Feel. Exactly. They well, want sure, that, that. And if the cow drinks from her mom, then we have less milk for ourselves, right? right? So there's what happens. The cow is taken away from her mom, locked in isolated confinement for up to five weeks. If the cow is a male, it will be sold off for beer, it will be slaughtered in maybe sometimes even the first yeah. couple days of its life or five yeah. weeks. Why do you feel about that? Do you think that's okay? Do you think it's acceptable? Uh, you know, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of the idea, Yeah. right? Yeah. Are you aware of some of the things in the egg industry? Yeah, I know. Do you know what they do to the male chicks? Not particularly. So on day one, because they're useless, they're just a useless product because they don't produce eggs, they're actually ground up in giant macerators. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can you can watch videos of them going down conveyor belts and just being dropped into these into these grinders and just oh, being yeah. ground up alive. And I mean, like, we've all held these little chicks in school yeah. and stuff. They're, they're so innocent and we do these horrendous things to them. Or we can we can kill them by suffocating them in, in eggs. And this is standard practice. This is, like, legal and totally, like, kosher for the industry. This is standard practice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, I know you don't agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah, it no, I, I mean, it's, it's the same thing as... For example, you probably heard, I can't remember who it was, Michael Pollan or one of these other writers saying, uh, if you could go get your own food, mm -hmm. that would be a different story for everybody, right? Because then you'd have to slaughter your own baby exactly. and see if you can do that. Exactly. Then you then you can be entitled to, yeah. to eat meat or do whatever. And yeah. obviously, eating eggs would be the simplest thing, right? You yeah. can have your own chickens and then there you go. Mm -hmm. But you're right, it's back to the whole factory farming thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people production. have a tendency to turn a blind eye because it's just oh, yeah. closed doors, right? So yeah. you don't have to engage in the morality of it because you don't have to think about it at that's all. Right. And I mean, that's why I'm here. Yeah. It's education, right? It is. And that's, that's how we're going to change the world. Back to the very beginning, yeah. you said that animals deserve a degree of, of moral yes, decency. Of moral decency. Yeah. We do all these terrible things to them in the animal agricultural industry. How do we morally justify it for a steak or for a pork chop when we don't need to eat these things in the first place? Well, the thing is, we do to an extent because there are so many people. That's that's what I believe. So you think it's it's a it's a population issue that we need to feed people animals? I've never tried to get to a point. I've never tried to become a completely vegetarian or vegan myself. Yeah. So at that point, I'm being ignorant when I speak on that fact. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's hard for me to say. However, I do not think we could have a population, even for example, in Toronto, of all. Actually, well, it would just cost a shit ton of money. That's all I can say. Right. Okay. And the thing is, when you make that transition, sure, money, it's hard It's hard to go, oh, money is the important factor over rights, right? It's sure. hard to make that argument. However, the point is, there's so many fucking people, making that transition would put so many people in the ground, really. Okay. Because people couldn't afford that transition. Is, is what it, I think. I'm talking, I'm talking about Toronto right now. Are you talking about in terms of the consumer or the or the, the consumer, or the dairy oh, farmers, yeah. for instance? Everybody. Yeah. So everybody. It, it would be right. a, it would be a large think, transition. I think it would completely fuck over the entire economy. I, I, I'm just talking about Toronto as a whole right now. Like, mm -hmm. say we made Toronto a you know vegan only yeah. state. Yeah, but you and I both know that the transition to veganism, if it's like, if we're talking like on a on a Toronto scale, isn't going to happen overnight. No, of it's going to take decades, right? Can I can I impose another question? Go for it. When when slavery was legal in yeah. like the 18th century, yeah. do you think that there were people going like, oh shit, like oh no, we're not into sl people are people are saying slavery is bad now. Uh, it's going to really hurt business. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's still the act of slavery is wrong, right? So don't you think Fair that we enough. have a responsibility to change things because they're wrong? Not we shouldn't be thinking about the business economical end of things. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's a good way to, uh, yeah, 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 right, yeah, it's fun, that's an yeah, interesting comparison, yeah. Like, you think we live in Canada, right, first world country, and you can completely turn a blind eye to what's happening in other parts of the world. Yes, exactly. And exactly. how you live, what you buy, yeah. and feel good about yourself, and yet you're a part of the problem. Exactly, and yeah. Effect. And the majority of people here are contributing to a system they don't even agree with. Yeah. And then you're part of that, thing. I know it's stupid, right, you're yeah. part of that experiment. Uh, if I may, you mentioned you like the you like the taste of cheese and you like the taste of eggs. Yeah, I mean, and look, clearly I'm no exception. Yeah, I enjoy the mozzarella well. cheese on pizza is, is great. Yeah. Right? Um, so, but, but you, I, I think I think you already know the answer to this question. Do you think that because we get taste pleasure from something that it's more important than another creature's life, another being's oh, life? Oh, I I, uh, I know what you're saying. You're totally right. Like you can change that people, right? If they realize what they're eating, it'll they can get a shock at the system, exactly. right, to, you know, oh my god, what have I done, whatever, and then yeah. they can be completely switched off. Right? But, um, have you ever so seen not footage of slaughterhouses yourself? I have. Yeah. yeah, and how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel hungry? No. <laughs> no Why do you no. think that is? 
Why do they get because 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 the way okay? So here's the thing, right? It gets pushed out of proportion, right? And people because it's a, it's a money thing. Yes. Money money is grabbed and money is involved. Yeah. So the people, a lot of the people there, you get desensitized yeah. quick. Yeah. And totally. I bet you a lot of the people that you sure sure say you you see one of those videos where you see some guy, you know, kicking a cattle in the ass, like yeah. throwing him into a fucking pen, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Thing is, I bet you that guy did not start out that way as a kid. No. Right? No. He was he was desensitized to the whole thing. Let's pose another thought experiment. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's say I've got um, uh, a dog here. Yeah. And, and I take out a knife. Yeah. And I say I'm gonna cut this dog's throat and I'm gonna eat it because it gives me pleasure to eat it. Would you have any problem with that? I go no. I'll buy you a sandwich. Uh, which what sandwich? Uh, a vegan sandwich? You wanna, you wanna, oh, no, no, you. I'll buy you another meat sandwich, not that dog. Okay. Okay. So you'll buy me another meat sandwich. That meat sandwich was made because a cow had his throat cut behind closed doors. Yeah. Does that make it any morally more acceptable because we can't see it happening? Well, so the idea essentially is that is that humans prioritize themselves, right? Yeah. You know what's solely in animal products that isn't in vegetables or any plant-based products? What's that? Cholesterol. So cholesterol is our number one, or is cholesterol, is, cholesterol yeah. is a really bad thing because sure. it leads to some of our biggest ailments and diseases later in yeah. life. Diabetes, strokes, cardiovascular diseases, various forms of cancer, and number one, do you know our number one killer? No. Heart disease. 17 okay. million people in North America every single year die of heart disease, and that's directly okay. related to the cholesterol consumption. So if I told you that in animal products, animal products are the only way that you can actually get okay. cholesterol, yeah. and that you can be totally healthy, and you can avoid heart attacks altogether by switching to a plant-based diet, would you be interested? Not particularly, no. No? No, I I'm, I'm prefer to risk heart disease. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Drinking milk, on another hand, I'll even dive into a whole other thing here. Sure. Like Drinking cow's milk you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. milk in general. Yeah. I mean, wow, what, you want to talk about breast milk? Uh, I don't know. Well, what do you think think's more natural, that we drink human milk or cow milk? No, no other, <laughs> yeah, fucking human milk. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. like, no other species drinks that's right. milk. That's I'm right. Like, it's, it's pretty weird, isn't weird. it? It's weird. Yeah. It's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, really what's weird. going on here? Yeah. I get it. Like, yeah. it doesn't taste good. Yeah. it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but have you ever tried a plant milk, soy milk, almond milk, hazelnut milk, yeah, rice I have. milk, oat milk? I've, I've had, yeah, I've had, I've had them all. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? It's what it's milk, it's right? It's, it's, milk. it's a taste basis. Yeah, yeah totally. I'm not, like, and what if, what if I told you that making that choice to pick up that oat milk or that almond milk meant that a baby cow didn't have to get separated from their mother, that a baby cow didn't have to get slaughtered? Well, that's not, that's not an accurate thing. Why is that? Because my personal decision at this point is not going to make that big difference. Oh, I know that's a huge so, thing. So right? you think you don't you, you don't matter that your choices don't won't matter in the grand scheme of things? Well, technically they do. Right. However, they don't because there's so many fucking people. There are a lot of people. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you well, understand the concept of supply and demand, right? I do. Yeah. That as the demand for a product decreases, the supply also I get, decreases. I, no, no, I I understand that, and, and that's a classic. Right? At the same time, I mean. We don't fucking, we don't have a clue, right? We don't have a clue as to what people need to survive, right? Yeah, I think we have some kind of clue. Well, okay, of course we have a clue, yeah. right? And the biggest clue is that humans do eat meat no doubt. We've been eating and for a long vegetables, time. right? Yeah. And that's the, that's the kind of number one go-to. Yeah. Yeah. So, you think, so you think that, that uh, a vegan diet is, is exclusive, certainly, but it's all, you think it's also expensive and it's less convenient. Is that right? Yeah. Less convenient. Yeah. And it is a privilege. It's a privilege of the first world, and it will gradually become a privilege of, of the world. I have no idea. Yeah. Do you know? Okay. So you know what the animals we eat, right? What, yeah. do, they, what do the animals plants, we eat? Same thing. We eat they, yeah. plants, right? It so, depends. So ninety percent. Depends what kind of, kind of animal you're hunting. Right? Sure. But ninety percent of the crops that we grow on in the entire world go to the animals we eat, right? So if we just decided to just cut the middleman, stop eating the animal, and just eat the plants instead, we would have enough plants to feed the world like twice over, three times over even. It's already okay. there. The, the the room is there, the supply is there, and also if you go to the supermarket, what are some of the cheapest foods at the supermarket? Not yes, certainly not the steak, certainly not the chicken. Not steak, right? Not no, I mean, we're talking about legumes, potatoes, whole grains. Not the triple A's, yeah. Exactly. Like, what's your what's your level of concern with global warming and the catastrophes surrounding that? Are you are you concerned with the fate of the planet and the fate of mankind surrounding global warming? Out of ten? Out of sure, out of ten. 
Out of ten, what's ten? What's ten? Uh, like, uh, you're running naked in the streets and just saying, I'm the end shoot is myself? Here. What's one? Sure, the, yeah, ten is you one. shoot yourself. What's one? one I'm going for a beer? Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. You shouldn't have said one. You shouldn't have said that as one. Because <laughs> you have a beer now. <laughs> uh, I mean, at this point, obviously I'm concerned about it all, but it's not something that's on the top of my head. Yeah. It's not something that I think about every day. It's something I think about once a month. Yeah, okay. But you wish it wasn't happening. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. What if I told you that going vegan is the number one way that you can help slow yeah, that down? My, my, yeah, yeah. With, with, with sustainability and all. Yeah. And all. yeah. yeah. Because a plant-based diet uses like 164th of the land required for like raising cattle, chickens, pigs. I don't know because there's, there's, so, many, there's so many factors to it all, right? That's interesting. Is it still you think people are scared because they see what other people are doing and it, it doesn't... It doesn't kind of stand out the norm, so they're scared to go there because yeah, it, totally, totally. It, and you're and safe in your own little bubble, exactly. what you know. Yeah, that's right. And there's a real bias about, about veganism and, and you know, judginess and preachiness. Yeah, and there is. Yeah. But I think what it comes down to is like just understanding what's at stake with the planet, yeah. understanding the health risks of, the, of how much we gorge ourselves on animal products, and then understanding the plight of the animals, that they're sentient beings that, that have a preference in a world to live and they don't want to die just like us. So I think it's like veganism is just win-win-win across the board. But you, you know what's going to happen? You're going to have... Like, oh, this is somebody like Trump, yeah. who's, who sold his Trump steaks and all this other stuff. He's going to start quoting the Bible or something where it says that, you know, we have domain and sure, sure. over all the animals that the Lord has bestowed us with, yeah. right? And then they're going to say, there it is, yeah. in Scripture, what are you going to do? And then, then I would say, why would a compassionate and benevolent <laughs> God endow creatures with sentience and then tell us that we can slaughter them yeah, in It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so can I ask this question then? <laughs> so you, you like taste. You like tasty things. I like tasty things, yeah. Is taste more important than life? Is taste more important than life? Yeah. My life or their life? Their life. If every time you have to you eat a steak, an animal dies, is it more important that you get satisfaction from eating that than that animal's life? Well, the thing is, there's extra life. So, so the extra, the, those, the, these farms, right, where animals are being reared, raised, so reared, yeah. raised. Yeah. Um, they're pretty much built for people to eat, which is a little bit dark. Yeah. You wouldn't say that's the animal's purpose, though. You'd say that's the purpose that we gave them. No, no, that's the purpose not, we gave them. Absolutely. But it's not their purpose. Yeah, no, 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 that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah. You didn't, uh, you didn't answer my question. Is taste more important than life? What's more important, that you get pleasure from how something tastes? Life's more important than taste. Thank you. Yeah. And I think yeah. 99% of people will agree with that. Absolutely. And so there's a degree of cognitive dissonance that happens, where we will say that, but then we'll go and we'll get that piece of steak in, right? So what, what I think I'm detecting is that your morals, how you feel inside, isn't in alignment with your actions. Does that make sense? No. Okay. But, but no, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know. I, I know that a lot of people still think it's like a trend, you know, that it's... But I look at it that way, you know, what are you going to do? You can't, you can't force them to change because then they'll, you know, put up the walls and then they'll entrench and stuff. Exactly. You can just show them the door. Yeah, exactly. They must walk through it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, I hope, I hope I've given you some information on the dairy industry, the egg industry. Oh, yeah, no, all the time. Veganism. Yeah. And if I, mean, I if I gave you this card with a little more information about that stuff, would you want to look into it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. I, always, I always read it and, like, look into it. Oh, yeah. There's a website here, vegan22.com. Uh -huh. It's a 22-day vegan challenge. I don't know if you've tried it before, but well, I, I challenge you to go vegan for 22 days. Do we, do we base our morality off of nature? We, we know that lions like to rape each other, right? We know that animals in the wild will do terrible things to one another. Is that a good gradient or basis? Is that a way that we can justify our own moral behavior by what animals do? If animals eat other animals, does that then justify us eating other animals? Yes, it does. Even though it's unnecessary. Because well, it's not necessary. It's, it's, it's not, you don't, you can't say that it's not necessary mm -hmm. because it's never been proven that it's not necessary. I, I'm living proof that it's not necessary. No, no, but it, you're not because you're one of seven billion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Sure, I, I don't know. Maybe there was one vegan lion who, who ate no, Africa. No, lions are obligate carnivores. They can only eat meat. Who knows them? I, I know. Who knows them? Maybe you <laughs> adopted, buddy. Maybe you adopted. Okay, maybe. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there. Okay? No, I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. The thing is, we have not seen, we have never seen a human race that only eats fucking mm -hmm. herbs. We have actually. We know entire cultures living in Japan that on average live to like 105, 110 and they live off a solely plant-based diet. They're living today. And they live much longer than us and they have much lower rates of heart disease, 
of diabetes, of various forms of cancer, okay. the things that afflict the okay. Western diet or the okay. Western culture. Nonetheless, like crazy. good point, fair point. Yeah. But nonetheless, I'm talking about a grand scheme. Okay. I'm talking about a first world nation right now at this point. Not a, not a tribe, not whatever, right? I'm talking about a first world nation. Well, I mean, at this point, it's just not really a possibility it's gonna happen. The whole world's not gonna go vegan. Not in a hundred years. Maybe, maybe not the whole world, but uh, uh, maybe the majority of the world. It's possible. Canada will not go vegan in a hundred years. Well, you're saying that. I'm saying it will, so. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm not here with the sign. One last question for you. Yeah. If you had the choice, and here's your choice yeah. to harm animals, harm humans, or harm neither. Which would you choose? <laughs> Is it a question? It's a, well, what's your answer? Well, obviously, you'd pick me. Yeah, and so that's what veganism yeah, is all I about. Get, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I knew is, where you were going with it. Veganism is non interventionism. It's saying we don't have to eat animals anymore to survive, we can be healthier without them, so why do we keep doing it? I say we should stop. And then, and by doing so, we spare animal lives. We protect the environment. We protect our health. Win, I don't win, know. Win. And I, I haven't done. I haven't. I actually haven't done my, my research yeah. whatsoever. So and that's what it, I'm going to help you. Me to say. Here's a card with some information and some resources for you to check out. Don't take my word for it. Look up this stuff yourself. Get to know it. You're telling me this is the best speech you'll ever hear. It, it might be the best speech you ever hear. Probably not. Well, but it it's a pretty powerful it speech. Say it. It it's a pretty powerful say it. speech. It check, say it. check it out. You you might you might find your mind has changed a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, boys. I came over here. I, okay, can cut, cut the camera. Cut the camera. Yeah. We're in peace on our table. We just feeling quite grateful. Plate full of vegetables. No waste. No hate. No pain at all. We connect to the empathy. More plants. More energy. And yes, we got protein. See through the smoke screen. Vegan is exactly what we're meant to be.